I was actually the lead designer for the 2020 election at Snapchat. So every single filter you saw on the app, I designed. There were in total 257 filters that I made from August to now um, across all 50 states. I actually worked, I worked with Michelle Obama, her team, they did we did a filter for Vote Loud. So I didn't, that sounds really cool. Cause I didn't get to like talk to Michelle Obama. That would have been way cooler. But her, her team did a, a huge push on Instagram and Snapchat to get young people to come out and vote for 2020. And uh, my coworker, who is the head of like political policy at Snapchat, she hit me up on the side and was like, hey, we have a last minute request. We need a filter done tomorrow. If you can't do it, let me know. And I was like, who's it for? And she was like, well, it's for Michelle Obama. And I was like, of course I can do that. Are you kidding me? What else am I doing that's more important than that? Um, but yeah, we did that. Uh, we had our, our voter mini tool, which I didn't, I didn't work on, but I worked as part of the campaign on where we registered over one and a half million uh, Snapchatters to vote. In Denmark's prime minister, Matt Fredrickson, said with a, quote, heavy heart, that in order to contain a mutated form of the novel coronavirus, up to 17 million mink would need to be culled due to the dangerous nature of this virus's mutation. In June, Staten Serum Institute, an infectious disease authority in Copenhagen, found five cases of the virus in mink farms and 12 cases in humans that showed reduced sensitivity to antibodies. This form of the virus, if allowed to spread, would limit the effectiveness of vaccines in the future. Millions of mink have been culled since this finding, but experts believe that the spread will continue unless further action is taken. As of this morning, over 200 people have been found to be infected with this new form of coronavirus in Denmark. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> what are some influencers you've worked with? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> I've worked with um, the Kardashians. I've worked with a lot of DJs, like Dylan Francis, Steve Aoki, like Diplo, like big DJs. I've worked with, oh, I'm trying to think of some of the other like influencers that are on TikTok now, but I haven't really done a ton of caricature work for them yet. Um, I've worked with like Juju Smith-Schuster. I've worked with... Um, Spencer Pratt, funny enough, like have become good friends with him, which is, which is funny. You like meet people just in weird ways. Uh, Paris Hilton. Um, like I, there's so many, the rock, I did a character of the rock for Saturday night live, which was cool. That was like a couple years ago. I did that. Um, the, the, the Obama is like, you know, all that's, it's crazy. It's hard to like, cause I, I see them all like on my website, I have all the caricatures I've done and you like, are like, oh, this is a cool group of work. And then you like, don't, it's like hard when you're on the spot to think of them. Oh, like Jordan Jones, like Lauren Gray. Those are two like bigger ones that are, mm -hmm. I know like pretty influential on Snapchat with younger audiences that I've worked with. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, also if anybody, like if you have students that have any questions about anything, like feel free to send them my way. Today will be cloudy with some sun and have highs in the mid-60s. This weekend will reach highs in the 70s and it will be very sunny so make sure to get outside. Monday will be breezy and quite warm with highs in the low to mid-70s. Tuesday will continue to be breezy with near record warmth possible and have just a very slight risk for a shower with highs in the low to mid-70s. Wednesday will be windy with a shower and possibly a storm or two with a high of 70. And on Thursday, the sun will return with highs in the mid-50s. I'm Nicole with your weather.
did big holidays. Like Halloween is like the favorite holiday on Snapchat. That is Snapchat's holiday. Everybody loves Halloween. And then New Year's and Christmas are also big too. And whenever we made a kit of filters, we had something we, we called the One Billion Club, like the Billions Club. And you got like put in that club if your filters that you made for a holiday reached over a billion uses. That wasn't even views, uses. So for me, I just barely missed it on Halloween. My filter had 957 million uses globally. <laughs> so that's just how, how many people used it. It doesn't count the people that swiped past it and didn't use it. It doesn't count photos that were taken that didn't have it on it. So there's at least a billion a day. The girls tennis team won 5-2, Caitlin Abbott for the singles. The girls field hockey team lost at Liverpool 2-1. Abby Harrington put the only goal in for the ESM. In the NFL last night, the Green Bay Packers beat the San Francisco 49ers 34-17. Aaron Rodgers threw 20, was 25-31 of 31 for 305 yards and had four touchdowns. In Syracuse news, today is the field hockey ACC tournament day two for SU. Thanks to the girls, they last night won in overtime to the sixth seed Duke. In college news, we have Mike Glosslick hosting the fan exam. On Saturday, there will be a football game against Boston College at home. Feel free to turn, tune in to TK99 or TK105 to listen. In upcoming games, the girls' soccer team plays Auburn tonight at 7.30 for their last home game of the season. The boys' soccer team plays at CVA tonight at 5. Fantasy news, some under-the-radar wa waiver pickups for your fantasy team this week include Drew Locke from the Denver Broncos, Falcons wide receiver Russell Gage, and Bears wide receiver Darnell Mooney. I'm Tanner with your sports. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, like you're interested in this, make sure to go in the email, wesm at esmschools.org, in the link down below. Thank you so much.